Hello guys, it's me again, Kill Switch from EOS 5. Today, I will show you the basic and advanced talents, refined plan, X selection, and the replaceable skills of the Blade Master class for player versus environment and player versus player. I have tested these builds for at least an hour, so I hope it helped you guys. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So let's start with the player versus environment dps plan so to the basic talents sea level talent blossom slash blossom dance inflict cherry blossom on all enemies it hits and cherry blossom explosion effect ignores target armor based on your player's attack penetration so the higher your attack penetration is the better b level talent new life if Sakura Slay detonates Cherry Blossom, the cooldown of Sakura Slay will be reduced by 3 seconds. So always use Blossom Dance first before using Sakura Slay. A level talent, Moon Shackle. If Moon Gazer will inflict Aerial, the damage of the skill. Wayne will increase by 40%. S level talent is a dumb stance. In Odachi form, the damage dealt is increased by 10% for 10 seconds, in, and in Maito form, movement speed is increased by 15%, and dodge rate is increased by 10% for 10 seconds. So, next will be the deep talent. So, level 5 fine weakness, attack penetration efficiency will be increased. Level 5 weapon flurry, in mito form, normal attacks have a chance to reduce blossom dance cooldown. Level 2 flower story, cherry blossom explosions have a chance to not remove cherry blossom. So in level 2, the chance is 100%. That means cherry blossom. Blossom will always be present. Level 3 Air Combo, Airborne Combo. Enemies with aerial effect will be will increase damage dealt. Mito Mastery, all damage increase in Mito form will be increased. Level 5 Heavy Force, Odachi Charge Attack damage will be increased. Fire Essence, Physical Attack will be increased, level 5. So, that's it for the Deep Talents. Refine Plan. Always use Dragon Slayer for player versus environment. Egg Selection, use Diamond Realm for player versus environment. And the X skill, as always, will depend on your preference. For me, Scorch for player versus environment. The replaceable skills. So we will use Night After Shock. This has the highest damage from these three skills. So Night After Shock. Moon Gazer to activate Wayne for the A level talent. Moon Shatterer, this has more damage than this landslide. And Red Lotus for player versus environment. So that's it for the PvE DPS plan. Next will be Tank. Player versus environment Tank plan. Again, with the basic talents, C level talent, Excited. To reduce incoming enemy damage by 50% and increases hate dealt to enemies. That means it increases aggro so that the enemy will attack you instead of your teammates. B level talent and A level talent will be the same. S level talent 
Dragon Slord Rat, increases movement speed, dodge rate, and damage reduction when your health points decreases. Advanced Talent, Deep Talent will be the same as the DPS plan. As always, Dragon Slayer for the Refined plan. X Selection will be the same, Diamond Realm, Scorch, and Skill Chosen, we will use Redoubtable. To reduce 10% damage taken by your allies. So in this plan, you will be the tank and support. So, Moongazer and Wayne again. Red Lotus. And instead of Moonshatter, we will use Landslide. Because Landslide reduces damage taken by 40%. So, that's it for the player versus environment tank build. Let's go to the player versus player. <sighs> the skills of the Blade Master has a lot of words. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. So, let's start with the basic talents. C level talent will be heavy strike. So the roundhouse skill, azure moon, diagonal slash, and second maneuver will be increased. The damage will be increased by 20%. So B talent, wind and moon. When you use the skill Void, this one, Void, each dodge will increase the duration of it by 1 second, up to a maximum of 10 seconds. So this is very useful in player versus player, especially on group player versus player. Sometimes you have only Void because of this talent. So... Next, a level talent, Rakshasa Dance. Again, the roundhouse skill, Azure Moon, Diagonal Slash, and Second Maneuver will give you 3 seconds of Super Armor and Machamp. Machamp. Machamp increases damage dealt by 5% for 5 seconds. That stacks up to 3 times. So for S level talent, Dragon Lord's Rat, the effect of this increases as your HP is lost. So that's it for the basic skills. Deep talent, level 5 find weakness, level 5 weapon flurry, level 2 flower story, level 3 airborne combo. To activate this my to mastery level 3 level 5 heavy force level 1 unstoppable roundhouse skill uh, roundhouse skill damage will be increased the mountain level 1 hidden move physical reduction effect will be increased and level 5 fire essence physical attack will be increased so that's it for the deep talents. Refine plan. Always use Warmonger for player versus player. X selection. Use Oberon for the X buff instead of the Diamond Red. For the other, I'm currently using Royal Fire. Royal Fire. is an upgrade of Scorch even though it has a lesser damage but this has damage over time and it it 
it will also decrease the armor physical armor and magic armor of the enemy by 10% by 20% ah, the 10% is the enemy's damage dealt so I'm currently using this as for blade master or even holy judgment so this will really depend on your playstyle for me as for now royal fire the replaceable skills let's go to the replaceable skills so for the upper left corner night after shark after shark after shark so the highest damage of this tree from these three skills we will use that moon shatter again is better because it has more damage than landslide instead of using moon gazer we will use flash for player versus player so flash is like your bling strike this is a, a very useful skill in player versus player it uh, you will charge at your target and when delay is triggered but sometimes it doesn't when you really need it it doesn't when delay is triggered you can use counter wave this skill this will lift up your target and throw them behind you so this is very useful in player versus player but when you really need it it doesn't proc <laughs> so in player versus player next use blizzard or thunder i prefer blizzard because i charge the opponent most of the time i have a combo for the charge attack so i think i have said everything so Two for player versus environment, one for DPS, one for tank, and one and for player versus player. So that's it. I'm done. If I have forgotten something, or if you have questions, suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Again, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time.